Good morning, this is Fox Forte with New Horizons Awake to inspire, to inform, and to explore. And Fox Forte is humbled to have you here on this journey. This journey of discovery and of wonder, the vast plains of expansive plains of discovery of the final frontiers beyond and before us on this continuing journey as we look at the detail and traverse the immense virtual worlds. Fox Forte is once more humble to have you here. As indeed we return to restore the iconic wonders presented before us, transported to a time of tentative skies, as we repair the iconic aircraft of yesteryear. And what we'll do in this instance, as we return to plane restoration, the mechanic simulation here, what we'll do is we'll have a look at the items, and we'll have a look at the aircraft, repair it, and then perhaps the next instance, um, bring and have a look at another aircraft and restore that as we've been in the previous presentations looking at the Spitfire and uh, we'll continue the journey once more Falcus Frontiers humbled to have you here and as you can see we have the pilot's notes I'm sorry about Peter I've heard he was a good pilot but anyway there's no time to warn make sure the plane is ready for combat as he has a sort here at one o'clock and indeed our previous pilot was Peter and now we have a Oscar Willoughby who's he's gone to the uh, afterlife here as presented before us the dangerous skies above as we're here in the midst of grand discovery and on this uh, indeed continuing journey Fox Fort is what's more humble to have you here so as we can see we have the the refill and uh, the task list here as you can see we have the various items so what we can do is it's the oil and the refill and there presented before us the spitfire and the outside of the hangar here the grand expanse of the skies the second world war and let us uh, be transported here as we have a look at the exceptionally wonder exceptional wonder of the uh, um, brilliant uh, iconic spitfire here as we are comfortable on this journey through always a peaceful journey of wonder and the grand expanse as we examine and be inspired by the many things here. And the source of inspiration, so indeed what we'll do first, perhaps we'll refuel the aircraft through the magic of the virtual world. We see the refuel happening there, and then we uh, go towards the fuel there, and, and there we have the fuel as we attempt the fuel and that's the impressive wonder the task completed and the aircraft refueled let us return the hose back to which it came as we wait for the hose to depart and the fuel truck to go to the distance now indeed we have the fuel service as we attempt to move the oil it's the impressive both in the mechanic and the before the digital world where uh, certainly the aerial combat maneuvers were quite direct, visceral at that time. And the wonder of the uh, brilliance, and obviously this is a peaceful journey of wonder. There will be moments of silence, plus pros to accompany our journey. Focus on Dead, let's hope you're doing so well as we're in a continuing journey of life, but hopefully we can create that comfortable, inspirational space for the day to coast on this journey of comfortableness, of wonder, and of constant inspiration. And here we have the oil, to which we will uh, move the oil, and the task should be completed as there's no oil in the uh, aircraft there. Let us continue to fill the oil there, mentally impressive as we can see. And there, with the oil fill, the task is completed as you can see the impressive Highly mechanical functionality of the uh, the oil there. Let's pull out the hose. And the hose return back to the uh, to the can there. We put the oil pan and return it back with the refuel and reoiled here. Perhaps we can go now uh, for the coolant as we continue. So indeed, and nicely impressive as we could see the ladder here and we'll raise the ladder and head towards the uh, ladder support there and let's 
climb the ladder before us. We have the coolant. And let's remove the coolant cap in this continuing journey. Fox Frontiers, so humble to have you here. Let us collect the coolant can and return comfortably to ascend the ladder once more and pour the coolant. As you can see, the coolant there and there might require another can of coolant, as we can see. And there, the empty can. Let us return and the coolant place will collect the next can and endeavor to continue to be on this journey of discovery, of detail, of wonder. And there we have it. Might require additional can of coolant, as we can see. And there, a mightily impressive journey as we're in the presence of discovery here. And a peaceful journey of wonder to which we are, are in the midst of in this uh, journey here. We have the additional coolant tank now and that should go to the minimum there and there. Refill of the coolant complete. Let's return the coolant back and the ladder. Back to its... Oh, we still have the opportunity to replace the cap of the no, coolant sir. cap and close the coolant as it's closed tight shut there and now let's close the access door and with that complete we raise the ladder and there with the coolant complete the refueled and coolant repaired had to go ahead now and perhaps go to the radio it's continuing expansive journey of depth and wonder the grand expanse of discovery here with Focus Frontier. Fox Frontier is certainly humbled to have you here on this journey. And let us attempt to remove and there, let's remove the hatch there. there. Again enamoured always by the impressive journey, the no. presence of this discovery. With the radio removed, let us have a look. And there in the presence, the receiver, we're here ready to turn the power and indeed we have the receiver there and as we tune the transmitter there let's go back to the receiver and indeed it's a mightily impressive way in which we can see how the maneuverability of movement and function of the radio here to tune and fix so it may communicate the vast skies beyond. It's the impressive indeed before the um, there's a certain richness again uh, with the way things are created at that time both in the structures and the, also the fabric of the wire here. It's again certainly an impressive thing. As we turn the frequency I'm certainly enamoured by the presence of our journey to attempt to receive and there you can see we're capturing the radio there again it's mightily impressive as we could see And there, as we can see, so focused on ensuring the receiver. And there must be, indeed, many objectives of um, attempting to restore, to bring the radio to life and allow the Spitfire to coast to those virtual skies. There's a signal transmitter there. Obviously, I suppose, to a certain degree, we need the signal to be at its highest, as we could see. And now with the signal there, of course, we can then go ahead with the power and the signal to locate the frequency. And it's mightily impressive as we could see 
tuning and adjusting the receiver. And there we have the radio to which we're capturing the signal and the signal gaining that frequency. We are then able to commence and it's a, certainly a very delicate thing to be able to uh, discover the frequency needed to commence and complete the tuning and there hopefully with the radio collect correctly tuned and fine-tuned as with the receiver and Certainly an impressive thing to be able to be in the wonder of the um, impressive, the intention to indeed uh, discover and indeed uh, understand the mechanisms of the radio. If you do have a radio, an older radio, a mightily impressive uh, devices to which you receive uh, the airwaves. And indeed, at that time, the wonder before the age of the, certainly the television, there was the wireless to which we, uh, many people would listen to and capture the, uh, um, the depth and richness. And certainly the radio is certainly an uh, impressive addition to the household there. The comfortable tunes in the background, uh, having the radio on there, still continuing as of today and the impressiveness of that, uh, uh, certainly an impressive wonder of the, uh, the radio and this, the size of the radio at that time compared to now, the digital avionics of the aircraft in these times, it's certainly a reminder of how oh. things were. Let us uh, place the radio shelf back and close the impressive radio hatch there and and a bit the impressive wonder of discovery. Focus Front is immensely humbled to have you aboard. Won't be too long or too short on this presentation, but just enough to quench that curiosity, but not too long to dilute it. And here we are on this uh, continuing journey. Let us review the clipboard here. And there we see from the coolant refill to the refill of the oil. And the last one is to harmonize the machine guns mostly vastly impressive thing to be able to do. Let us go ahead to the harmonization board here and set the harmonization there and there in the distance targets to which we can set and locate. We obviously must remove the uh, patches there as well so we can complete the harmonization process there. And now to attempt complete this particular task to reset, harmonize, and rebalance. So indeed, the spitfire of this iconic wonder traverse into the unending skies, the skies beyond, the skies of this instance here. Falcus Frontiers, immensely humbled to have you aboard. And let's continue with the upper starboard gun door. And there, with that released. Put the breach cover, and I'm sure there's the opportunity to attempt to no. request a harmonization of the um, no. the guns there. No. Let's just see. Uh, looks like. Let's just have a look at maybe this particular one needs harmonizing. And no. request to harmonize the. Yes, there's the harmonization of the machine guns situated in the uh, port here. So let's see if we are able to do that. But it looks like there's no request to commence the harmonization. No. No. And certainly it's something... Consider as we have a look and should be able to and 
ability to harmonize the gun should be available as we have a look to see on the impressive journey to be part of this immensity, this wonder presented before us. Let's see if we are able to in fact harmonize and it looks like the harmonizing is a challenge there and I think to harmonize I think no. and there we have the on port patch and the ability to harmonize is not shown as we can see maybe if we try the uh, other side here we may be able to correct and harmonize those do it gives does give the opportunity the option to harmonize but let's see if in fact we need to remove the lower part of the uh, port gun door here and indeed that uh, continual sense of inspiration as we look at the detail be makes the entranced by the uh, virtual landscapes of the continuing and an engine journey coasting beyond the virtual wonder here let no. us just see no ah and we have removal of the gun here so indeed let us see if we could replace it uh, we want to certainly replace the door here and the, replace the machine gun and ability to harmonize and can't see any option to harmonize there as we can see uh, it might be missing something in this instance let's just see if we replace the ejection chute and the gun door here let us see if we're able then to commence harmonization here We've open the harmonization board and there is ammunition there in the but no option to harmonize and it looks like seem to be indeed perhaps missing something and um if certainly there is a intent to uh, certainly try to harmonize them it's certainly not uh, visible as we can see, and there's the, unless we're indeed missing a step or something here, attempt to harmonize and restore. And we do have the option to commence the harmonization, but it doesn't seem to be visible at this stage. Let us continue the journey and see on this peaceful journey of wonder mixed with prose, momentary sense of comfortable silence as we look out and see the Spitfires passing overhead, the iconic and bountiful wonder of inspiration. We can inspire one to traverse, and if you have the opportunity to have a, uh, do have an aircraft, perhaps a model home build aircraft that you could build and fly, but um, of opportunity to visit an airfield. They are immensely impressive, the home build aircraft, the many resources and an opportunity to visit iconic airfield where uh, you're able to see the uh, aircraft of yesteryear being on display. Um, it's certainly an impressive thing, an impressive wonder to behold as we get a sense of our presence here. And Falcon's Frontiers immensely humbled to have you aboard on this uh, iconic journey. Indeed, a night journey within the virtual world, a virtual dimension, if we can land, lend a comfortable hand into the real world then we create the reality of realities to build a bridge to that and this is a, indeed always a peaceful journey of wonders we see before us the spitfire and unable to seem to be unable to harmonize the machine gun there but i think perhaps what we'll do in this instance is Considering that we have the detail there and have a look, to, had a look at refilling the oil, setting up the radio, refueling the aircraft, refilling the coolant, uh, unable to see how, in fact, we're able to 
harmonize unless perhaps we restart the task but what we'll do in this instance is obviously um, Oscar Willoughby will be uh, particularly um, is unable to harmonize the machine guns so what we'll do is we'll perhaps uh, restart this particular task here perhaps and let's see if we're able to have a look and again attempting to this time we'll commence and try to harmonize the machine guns initially as we restart uh, what we might do in fact on this journey on this particular task is we have the spitfires before us and we have the harmonization board of this detailed journey of wonder presented before us and there before us we have the harmonization uh, targets there in the distance let's uh, attempt to refuel and see if we can successfully harmonize the uh, Spitfire on this particular journey of uh, inspirational wonders and the unending journey before us uh, let us refill the fuel and let's go ahead and attempt to refuel and there all tasks completed the task completed of the fuel and again magic of the virtual world we're able to return the hose back to the truck and the truck moving off into the distance so let's see if we are able to now to harmonize the machine guns there if not we'll conclude this particular task on the spitfire here in the mastery and the wonder of the presence of the virtual world and perhaps begin to work and look at an additional aircraft. Indeed, Falcus Frontier is immensely humbled to have you aboard. What we might do, in fact, is have a go at this particular instance. Indeed, what we'll do is um, we'll continue the journey and we'll have a go, perhaps, at deconstructing the entirety of the engine so we can go into the depths of the Merlin engine on this coasting journey of wonder and perhaps deconstruct the entirety of the engine in this session um, to allow us to see how we can uh, how um, to what depth we could see the components of the internal components from the spark plugs and the rocket heads to the piston rings and all the other components make up the grand wonder. We did do that in a previous presentation. Uh, it was a wonder, a peaceful journey of wonder to explore. Uh, perhaps we'll do that after we harmonize the machine guns here. This is always a journey of inspiration, of wonder, a journey in the presence of discovery and Focus Frontiers immensely humbled to have you here. So it looks like, as we can see, we're unable to, unless we are, what we have to do, in fact, maybe the ammo belt, is we have to remove the ammo belt there. And now I think we're able to harmonize. Yes. So let us... Uh, so it was... We'd have to be out of the mode of the... Um, the assembly or disassembly... Uh, virtual assistance and we'll have to um, exit that mode and then be presented with the option once remove the ammo belt so that's what was required of us in the initial stage so now we have the opportunity in fact to harmonize so with that we can then go ahead and complete um, the harmonization and uh, then attempt to begin to remove the components of the engine and be enamored by a constant wonder of the presented expanse before us discovery. So let us, and there with the harmonization, we have the targets, and let's see for the targets. The harmonization, oh, there we have. And it looks like the harmonization targets are present and the gun port patch is removed. So let's try one more time to see 
how in fact you can see the target and there's a red target here uh, let's see and it looks like seem to be ah what we must do is obviously the aircraft here is pointing upward and out over into there have to raise the Spitfire there of course to ensure the harmonization is complete to let us apply and now we're able to successfully harmonize the machine gun there so the Spitfire and this ghostic journey of wonder could be part of a journey and return to the tentative skies of the virtual dimension here and there we have harmonization complete as we can see of the red target here and you can see the red target and hopefully harmonization will then be complete on this journey and there we have a harmonized weapon there we can then now restore the belt replace the breech cover and we're completed on that stage let's remove the door and the additional gun there and open the breech cover and attempt another harmonization attempt here and the fox frontiers is the humbled to have you aboard as we target the harmonization target here it's the impressive wonder as we uh, attempt to realign all the machine guns to they actually uh, function and allow um, Mr. Willoughby to commence his uh, attack or commence his defense in the tentative skies of the Second World War here. Let us just see if we're able to do that and that's successful. Once more, Focus no, Frontiers sure. immensely humbled to have you aboard as now we place the elbow belt. If you indeed have the opportunity to visit or perhaps have the opportunity even to um, uh, visit an aircraft and be part of the uh, journey of the um, aircraft and coast outward into the vast tentative wondrous skies beyond, then all the better and indeed um, Focus Frontiers are basically humbled um, and appreciative of your presence here on this journey but it's a, certainly an impressive wonder to create that bridge to be inspired by the many things that we see let's complete the harmonization here and what we'll do after this we'll complete this task as obviously now we know about the harmonization um, and then considering the time is not too long or too short we'll conclude perhaps conclude the session and uh, revisit the um, session and attempt in the next session to deconstruct the entirety of the engine there. We have obviously the um, sort of present wonders of exploration before us and presented and given to us by the impressive, dynamic and vast virtual world of possibility. We'll complete the final location for the harmonization of this particular gun here. And as you can see, we'll set, align the gun to harmonize and certainly an impressive wonder presented before us here. And should complete the harmonization. I think we haven't got the target exactly correct there. And there we have it. So let's see if we're able to now successfully harmonize. And seems to be very sensitive at this instance, but, and there we have a locked harmonization of the completed uh, lower starboard gun door here. Let's replace the ammo belt and the upper starboard gun door. D to replace it. So indeed, as we um, indeed uh, have that sense of inspiration and wonder on this uh, continuing journey.
And as you can see, the replacement of the, if you do happen to have uh, an access to a model or a, indeed a scalable world example of the of a Spitfire or indeed um, uh, to build these impressive models and also to have the die cast uh, model of these uh, impressive iconic things, uh, machines of the sky of discovery, then uh, certainly um, and employ you and Fogger's Frontier is uh, always going to uh, see and uh, will indeed uh, look at the real and the virtual and be inspired by them and through that we'll um, uh, hoping to have a look at and we await the return of the Artemis mission um, NASA's mission back to the moon and hopefully Focus Frontier will indeed cover that but also parallel that with the, um, the scalable world of model creation and uh, couple that with the uh, many wonders of the world of flight and space and indeed um, enamored by certainly by the uh, mechanisms within the Spitfire and we'll have a look and perhaps what we'll do is we'll go so far as to uh, remove uh, some parts of the engine initially and we'll conclude the session um, but in the intricate detail of the structure of these devices these machines uh, Fox Frontier will also concentrate on the wonder of looking at the intricate mechanisms of horology and the discovery of the mechanisms inside them and we will endeavor to have a look into the deep wonder of not so much the prestige of the mechanisms of uh, timepieces but we'll have a look at the consistency of development and we'll have a look at the intricate dimension of the mechanisms of the gears and we'll have a look at the watch and we'll have a look at the timepiece and through Hology we'll attempt to deconstruct it and look at it in depth. That's something else we'll endeavour to do as well. But uh, let's just see as we continue. Uh, we have, as you can see, the gunport patch is above there so let's let's remove the gunport patch and attempt now to reharmonize and we can see the red of the harmonization red target there locked over and that's successfully harmonized there let's attempt to close the uh, uh, reload the ammo belt and place the upper port gun door A onto the top of there. And that's the impressive way in which the um, rivets and the screws and the um, entire construction of the ability to take apart the aircraft and reassemble it. And that's also part of the Focus Frontier. We'll hopefully do a scalable world of model creation, model building, but also um, attempt to uh, look at the uh, again with the horology um, have a look at the intricate works of the timepieces uh, but so many so much more so many more horizons to discover and this is obviously a new horizon always to inspire to inform and to explore we have additionally the gun port B uh, we want to remove here the impressive wonder of the discovery here surrounding and before us let us now Harmonize this machine gun. So it may. Ah, we did not remove the gun port patch, so let us go ahead and remove the gun port patch there. And. And there we have the blue target. And there, with the blue targets aligned and set, we're ready to. Commence the journey, and Fox Frontier is immensely humbled once more to have you aboard on this uh, journey of discovery and a journey of wonder as we attempt to harmonize the blue gun here. Let's try and correctly, very highly sensitive environment here, correctly harmonize, and there the blue target harmonized and continuing the journey. Fox Frontier is immensely humbled to have you here. And just really get a sense of the 
impressive mechanisms and indeed the impressive journeys of having to repair, restore and rebuild and repair and uh, correct the many systems evolved in the impressive Spitfire. And we just want to check the volume. And so it's not too high or too low. And yes, that should be okay. Let's go here. We have the over flying overhead of the Spitfires and then the sun here. In the midst of the fusion, both of the sun and the moon, and again, once more, the Artemis will return to the impressive wonder of the moon. Little did we know in the Second World War that would we have a network of satellites to access an international database of the internet with Starlink and have uh, SpaceX return astronauts to the International Space Station, hopefully to Mars, and we have the NASA Artemis wonder to go to the moon and be in the presence, the awe-inspiring sense of discovery that uh, we're in the presence of. And it's again, so much to look forward to, so much to be in the presence of. And it's again a vastly impressive uh, journey here. Let us we attempt to harmonize. Did we remove the gun port patch? No, we did not. So let us return and remove the gun port patch there. And additionally, that gun port patch as well. And we attempt to harmonize. And where's the. And that's the yellow one there. As we attempt to be in the throw of the many virtual dimensions that we're discovering, both in the wonder of repairing and the wonder of flight itself. Again, Fox Frontiers immensely humbled to have you aboard on this impressive sense of discovery and wonder as we attempt to harmonize the last gun here so that Mr. Willoughby can coast at the virtual skies and get to the uh, enemy there and there the task complete the harmonization of the machine guns complete there the restoring of the ammo belt and the port gun door We're ready and the task completed to be in the presence the harmonization we can now return the aircraft back as we have a look take the lift service at there and the presence of this presence of the wonder abound here beyond the discovery and we have we refueled the aircraft as well and uh, requested we have the oil to which we to also fill but let's replace the gun port patches here as we continue the journey and through the magic of the virtual world we could do so with the harmonization complete ready to see and there's the gun port patches complete to know that the guns have been used obviously it breaks the seal and to know that you might need reloading repairing and harmonizing as we can see but there we have uh, obviously in many instances there'll be moments of comfortable silence coupled with prose to assist us and accompany us in the wondrous journey of the marvel of engineering in whatever theatre of war, and it is uh, the case that uh, the propel the necessary attempt to defend and uh, keep the peace has propelled us to create such marvellous uh, examples of the wonders of engineering that is uh, part of now intrinsic, um, and intrinsic in the fabric of our evolution, both technologically um, or, I suppose, in the primary sense, technologically, uh, given our attempt to uh, outwear, to compete and be part of a, a journey um, of discovery. And there we have the completed, or near of completed Spitfire. So what we'll do in this instance, as we, in the process of discovery, have a go at remove, we'll remove the cowlick 
and some, a few more components, and then we'll conclude the session and resume on another virtual dimension in this discovery. We have the top engine cowling, so what we'll do will remove all the cowling and expose the grand wonder of the uh, Berlin engine here. Let's continue. And there, the top cowling removed, exposing the immense brilliance of the engine there. So many internal components to understand and consider. We'll also remove the front part of the propeller element as well. This is just more of an exploratory discovery. An exploratory attempt to discover the uh, uh, grand expanse of our journey. Uh, so many things to be inspired by in the real and the virtual. And if we could somewhat create that bridge to the to the real from the virtual, then indeed, um, that's certainly a impressive thing. Let's remove the final screw there. And there we have exposed before us the cowling of the removed, the engine there. So what we could do now is we'll have a go at removing now the uh, beginning journey and we'll remove three or four more components and then conclude the session. Resume the next session on the virtual world. And we return to this and save the progress and then uh, continue the deconstruction of all the components in the aircraft and then reassemble them as we could see. But uh, D Focus Front is immensely humbled to have your board. So we'll open the starboard rocker cover here as the first component. And there we have, you can see the screws being removed again. Vastly impressive journey. As you can see, magic of the virtual world. Giving that sense of presence and discovery here. And there, with the starboard rocker cover, we have the starboard rocker mechanism as well. That is a, that's the intricate uh, from the cylinders and the rocker head there, um, and the cylinder block assembly. Uh, perhaps we'll remove the port rocker cover as well. As we can see, so many screws to remove in the magic of the virtual world. We just hear them being placed into the bucket. Um, and indeed, we'll attempt to continue the journey. And there listing of the deconstruction of the screws there we have the two components removed and now we have obviously the impressive wonder of attempting to remove the uh, components but we'll have a look and see perhaps the uh, real sense of the intricate and the impressive environment here presented before us that is removed a few couple of more additional components and then we'll conclude the session here we have the spark plugs that we want to remove and that will remove the ignition wire here and the ignition wire and we have the ignition wire here we'll move an additional couple of more components there and nope. Nope. Uh, the additional bracket here. I think that does need to be removed, I think. No. And it's showing that uh, the top that cowling frame to be removed as well. And now we can go ahead with a couple of more components and then we'll conclude our session. Um, and there we have the... What was that particular component there? The stumbled cylinder block assembly and starboard coolant outlet pipe and we could remove that one and we could see the screws being removed there and the additional port coolant pipe to remove as well and now and it certainly revealed quite a lot of intricate wonders here uh, We'll have a go perhaps and remove the port induction manifold 
and we'll conclude the session. Indeed, that's a spectacular array of bolts and screws necessary. Part of the Merlin edge, so we'll go ahead and attempt to remove the duction manifold there. And there we can see the individual parts and components being removed rapidly and quickly. And there, the grand expanse of the presence, present wonder before us, we could see the removal of these components. Once we remove that, we'll conclude our session here on the ability on our discovery and journey into the engine components of this Spitfire here. And there, with the removal of the component there, which is the starboard cylinder block assembly, the port cylinder block assembly there removed, we have such a uh, depth of the wonder as we hear comfortably the sound of the screws being placed into the virtual bucket somewhere around here and indeed that's uh, certainly mightily impressive lots of moments of discovery and wonder surrounding us and before us at Fox Frontiers immensely humbled to have your board on this journey of discovery as we can see here but obviously we have a lot more uh, components to remove and we'll endeavour to do that. Upon our return of the removal of the uh, assembly here, let's have a look at the uh, Merlin engine here, its grand wonder state here, the propeller and the Merlin engine and the Spitfire situated here on its way to being um, uh, deconstructed there on its way to a journey of inspiration, information and exploration. Well, this concludes our session for today. And we'll resume um, our continuing journey through all the other wonders a little bit over time at this instance. But Fox Frontier does hope you've enjoyed the journey of peace, of comfortableness, of information, of traversing through the grand expanse of a peaceful journey of wonder to inspire, to inform and to explore. Well, indeed, for now and until next time, there is the like, subscribe, notification button, whatever your preference, Fox Frontier simply humbled to have you here. But as we say, for now, and indeed, for next time, until the next presentation, when we return to deconstruct the continuing journey of the Merlin engine, Focus Frontier wishes you a safe, comfortable, and productive onward journey. Thank you, and see you again next time.